Hello everyone, I welcome you and I hope you all are good and doing well. Today's lecture is going to be a little different. Since some of you are not comfortable in solving the last question, remember a shortcut which I had discussed with you in the previous lecture. So I thought why not to discuss two, three more questions related to the same type. It means no new type will be discussed today. We'll just focus on problem solving based on type two only. So that's the agenda. Let us start. So let us start off with the first question. A person buys 50 items of equal value from market for rupees 400. How many articles he must have sold for rupees 400 if he had made a loss of 16.66%? After reading this question, I hope many of you must have realized that we have already solved a question like this in the last lecture. In fact, it was the last question of that session, right? Now, what this question is saying? Cost price of 50 items is rupees 400. How many articles he must have sold for rupees 400 such that he had made a loss of 16.66%? Okay, this is commonsensical. Agar usko loss hua hai 16.66% ka, iska matlab jo number of articles, jo x ka value hai, it must be less than 50. Yes or no? Kyunki 400 rupees ka usne expenditure kiya, aur jab baat revenue ki thi, to revenue bhi utna hi kiya. तो वो अपना रेवेन्यू इंक्रीज नहीं कर रहा है वो क्या कर रहा है वो अपने नंबर ऑफ आर्टिकल्स को कम या ज्यादा कर रहा है अगर उसने नंबर ऑफ आर्टिकल्स 50 से कम बेचे होते तो उसको प्रॉफिट हुआ होता लेकिन क्योंकि क्वेश्चन में गिवन है कि उसे लॉस हुआ है तो वन थिंग इज क्लियर कि उसने यहां पे नंबर ऑफ आर्टिकल्स 50 से ज्यादा ही बेचे होंगे सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच आई वांट यू टू एंटिसिपेट कि x का वैल्यू 50 से बड़ा होगा राइट एंड वंस यू रियलाइज दिस नाउ आई कैन यूज द शॉर्टकट व्हिच आई हैड डिस्कस विद यू इन द लास्ट लेक्चर what shortcut first convert this loss of 16.66% in the form of SP and CP ratio. 16.66% we all know it is 1 by 6 in terms of fraction. What is the sign? Minus sign because we are looking at a loss here. How do we calculate loss percent? You would say sir we will write loss in the numerator while cost price in the denominator. It means when cost price is 6 there is a loss of 1. So looking at this, can you write down the ratio in this form, SP upon CP? You would say, yes, sir, why not? If cost price is 6, there is a loss of 1 over it. So subtract 1 from 6, you will get the value of selling price. And once you come up with this ratio, 5 upon 6, answering this question will not take much time. What I want to calculate, I want to calculate the value of X. What was X? X were the number of articles which the person must have sold. Since I'm trying to find out the articles value, so I have to start with these 50 items. 50 items is going to be the base value. Okay, so let me write down 50 first. And then either you need to multiply this 50 with 5 by 6 or you would think about multiplying the same 50 by 6 by 5. Now in order to decide this, I hope you all can recall in the very start of the question we had anticipated that the value of x should be more than 50. तभी तो उसे लॉस होगा 16.66% का, राइट? इसका मतलब मैं यहाँ पे एक x का ऐसा वैल्यू सर्च कर रहा हूँ जो 50 से बड़ा हो। अच्छा मुझे एक चीज बताओ, अगर मुझे x का वैल्यू 50 से बड़ा चाहिए, अगर मुझे x का वैल्यू 50 से बड़ा चाहिए, तो मुझे उसको छोटे फ्रैक्शन से मल्टीप्लाई करना चाहिए � Simply look at the numerator value. तुम बोलोगे सर numerator value इस fraction में बड़ा है six and therefore I should multiply fifty with six by five then only the value of x would be more than fifty. So simply solve this. You will get the answer of your question is sixty. It means he must have sold sixty articles for rupees four hundred. Now try to understand what has happened in this question. The person purchased fifty items for rupees four hundred. यानि कि उसने four hundred rupees में fifty items खरीदे थे. ये इसका expenditure था. But he has sold sixty items for rupees four hundred. तो जब revenue करने की बारी आई, तो वो चार सौ रुपए ही वापस लेके आया. और चार सौ रुपए में उसने कितने articles बेच दिए? Sixty बेच दिए. I can clearly see it's a case of loss. इसीलिए उसको loss हुआ. और कितने का loss हुआ? Sixteen point six six percent का. Right? Okay. Now after understanding this question, it's time to discuss one more question, a variation based on type 2. Again you would find the same thing happening, unequal quantity buying and selling. Let's read the question once. A person buys 18 pen for 12 rupees and sells 12 pens for 18 rupees. Let me write down the data for you. 
he has purchased it means the cost price is given cost price for how many pens you would say sir he has purchased 18 pens for rupees 12 okay and when it comes to selling them he has sold 12 pens for rupees 18 this is what we are given with now what i want you to look at if you look at the quantity quantity purchased and sold these two are unequal quantities and therefore i cannot compare it directly so to compare them what i'm going to do i'm going to make the quantity value same now how can you make the quantity value same you would say sir let me think about lcm of 18 and 12 to make 18 and 12 the two quantities same i'll think about the common value a common multiple means we'll think about lcm of 12 and 18 what is lcm of 12 and 18 it's 36 now in order to make 18 as 36 i'll multiply 18 with 2 and since i'm multiplying 18 with 2 i have to multiply the right hand side value with 2 as well okay look at the data for selling price 12 how can you make 12 as 36 you would say sir let's multiply 12 with 3 since i'm multiplying 12 with 3 i have to multiply the right hand side value also with the same number 3 and now you would realize that the quantities are same 2 into 18 36 3 into 12 36 and in the right hand side if you look at the price the cost price is 24 while the selling price is 54 isn't it now simply compare what has happened here this person has purchased 36 pence for rupees 24 but he has sold the same 36 pence for rupees 54 so obviously i can see it's a case of profit cost price is 24 while selling price is 54 how much profit you would say sir a profit of rupees 30 a profit means i'm going to calculate profit percent a profit of rupees 30 over which price you would say sir over cost price cost price was 24 and then to find out the answer i'll multiply this thing by 100 now simplify you would say sir this is 6 4 24 6 5 25 4 1 4 25 what is 5 into 25 you would say 125 so how much profit this person is going to make if he make this transaction you would say sir he would make a profit of 125 percent and that is the answer of my question so what is the learning in this question whenever you get a question of this type you have to make quantity same you have to make quantity same and to make quantity same you'll think about the lcm of quantity values right simple let's look at another question again this is based on type 2 only after selling 33 meters of a cloth a shopkeeper makes a gain equal to the selling price of 11 meters of cloth what is the percentage of his gain i know many of you must be confused ki sir ye to mujhe type 2 ka question nahi dikh raha but if you read it carefully you would realize ki yahan pe kya bataya gaya hai ki shopkeeper ko gain hua kitna gain hua equal to the selling price of 11 meters of cloth now how would you write it down please see if I try to write it down mathematically, I would say ki is shopkeeper ko profit hua. And how do we calculate profit? You would say, sir, in order to calculate profit, you know what we do? We find the difference. Difference between selling price and cost price. First, try to write down the value of profit. How much profit? Profit is equivalent to selling price of 11 meters of cloth. Now, how would you write it down? You would say, sir, profit kiske equal hai selling price of 11 meters of cloth equals to ye transaction mein kya hua in this transaction the shopkeeper has sold 33 meters of cloth yani ki jo bhi cost price tha 33 meter cloth ka aur jab usne selling price mujhe nahi pata ki selling price kya tha to jab usne becha yahi 33 meter cloth he realized that he had made profit of selling price of 11 meters of cloth now once you are able to convert this in this form in what form in this form in mathematical form answering this question would be a cakewalk also you'd realize that this question is similar to whatever questions we have discussed in type 2 let me show it how now let me bring this selling price of 11 to the right hand side and i'll take this cost price of 33 to the other side so if i do so let me write down cost price into 33 in the left hand side and now what i'm doing i'm bringing this thing in the right hand side if i do so i'll get this expression now try to find selling price of 33 minus selling price of 11 means selling price of 22 and in the left hand side what i have i have cost price of 33 
again try to write down this in the form of sp and cp ratio and now what i'll do i'll take this 22 to the other side once i take this 22 to the other side it will go in denominator now it's the same thing cost price is 22 while selling price is 33 so how much profit so before calculating profit you can always simplify 11 to 22 11 3 33 if cost price is 2 and selling price is 3 what change we are looking at you would say sir a positive change a positive change means profit a profit of 1 over cost price which is 2 and what is 1 by 2 in terms of percentage something which I am already aware about it's 50 percent so what is the final answer of my question? The answer of my question is 50% profit. So I hope you were able to understand the working approach of this particular question. So this was another variation which can be asked under type 2 only. So with this we have come to the end of this lecture and I hope now you guys are comfortable with this particular type. Uh, if you have enjoyed this session, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.